Today, I want to break down the decision by U.S. soccer to alter the Iranian flag, and I'll extract lessons for would-be negotiators dealing with an implacable opponent. With tensions between the United States and Iran higher than they have ever been since the Iranian hostage crisis more than 40 years ago, the highly anticipated matchup between the United States and Iranian men's soccer team was one watched by millions of people around the world. But the competition on the field wasn't the only conflict between U.S. and Iranian soccer teams during this year's World Cup. That's because on Saturday, U.S. soccer enraged Iran by posting a doctored Iranian flag on its social media. Specifically, U.S. soccer stripped Iran's official emblem and then took out two lines of Islamic script from the flag. This move enraged Iranian officials who called upon FIFA to expel the United States from the tournament. So let's dive into this negotiation and the place where every good negotiator starts by asking the all important question, what is your purpose? Whenever I am coaching an anyone in negotiation, when they say I might do X or Y or Z, I stop them and I say, what is your purpose in doing that? What do you hope will happen next? What do you hope the other side will do? So it turns out this question of purpose was actually asked of US soccer. And their response was that they wanted to show support for Iranian women who have been standing up for their rights in the face of a brutal regime that has systematically worked to oppress women and that has used violence and repressive tactics against women for generations. And so the purpose in doctoring the flag is to stand in solidarity with these Iranian women and against this oppressive regime. And to me, that is a really good purpose. But the second question a negotiator asks is, what are the possible ways to achieve your purpose? So in negotiation, we call this for moving from interests, right? Interests are what we want to happen, to options. What are the ways to achieve that goal? And so this is where, from a negotiation perspective, I have some concerns with the decision by U.S. soccer to alter the Iranian flag. Why? First, it's not because the move itself was somehow not in solidarity with the women of Iran, it most certainly was. But it's because a really skillful negotiator considers the broad set of stakeholders who it needs to influence in order to create the change it hopes to achieve. And in this case, I think US soccer didn't consider that carefully enough and therefore made a mistake. Well, why is that the case? Because ultimately, if the Iranian regime is either going to be replaced or change its policies, it's going to be the Iranian people who are going to do it. It is not going to be U.S. soccer. And so that means that U.S. soccer needs to be thinking about other stakeholders, not just their influence on the government, but on the people who would need to do things to change the government. And in this case, when we think about the other stakeholders, it includes people like the rest of the Iranian population. And other powerful actors in the world. And once you're thinking about that, it calls into question the decision to alter another country's flag. Well, why is that the case? Well, even if you are somebody who is opposed to the Iranian regime and really thinks what your country is doing is wrong, once you see another country change your flag, it is non crazy to think that suddenly you might feel offended. And in fact, you might feel defensive and under assault. And so this decision, instead of actually building a coalition and bringing other stakeholders on board, may well have turned off many average Iranian citizens. Think about it this way. Let's imagine the American government did something that you thought was shameful, but then Iranians decided to remove the 50 states and just put 13 colonies on the flag. My guess is that you would be pretty offended by that. Secondly, U.S. soccer failed to appreciate how another important stakeholder would react and that is FIFA. And FIFA has some rules. And one of the rules is that you don't alter national flags. And so when US soccer does this, they also lose another body that might actually show some solidarity, or even if it wouldn't show solidarity, at least could somehow block or criticize or punish the United States. 
Changing another nation's flag is largely considered outside the bounds of what is acceptable in international relations. So what is the negotiation learning here? Great negotiators consider the impact of their behavior, not just on the person they're trying to influence, but also on other key stakeholders who could influence the longer term outcome here. And so this brings me back to the very worthy purpose that U.S. soccer had. So if U.S. soccer's goal is to show support for women in Iran, then a great negotiator will analyze the full set of stakeholders, and then they will brainstorm options, ways they can meet those interests, and also build sympathy and coalitions with those stakeholders. So in this case, what could that have looked like? Well, maybe U.S. soccer could have issued a public statement, or maybe they could have called a news conference and named every single woman who was brutally murdered or disappeared. Alternately, maybe they could have organized some kind of crowdsourcing or fundraising to support groups working with women in Iran. Any of these moves, and we could come up with a lot more, would likely have achieved the same purpose but also perhaps brought on a wider set of allies, thus achieving the original goal with respect to its decision in the first place. So skillful negotiators are thinking about not only who they want to influence, but also who is necessary to achieve the good outcome that they're moving toward. Altering the Iranian flag, while strong and shocking and certainly getting a lot of media attention, actually failed to be as impactful as it could have been and probably uh, imposed some unexpected external costs by alienating a set of supporters who might have otherwise been much more likely to celebrate the U.S. decision. Okay, so despite my criticism of the specific decision that U.S. soccer made, I would say this was largely a win for the U.S. this week. We beat Iran in the game. We did something that really did show support for a constituency that can use all the help in the world right now. And the way we could have made it a bit better is to think about the larger set of stakeholders. So I'd love to get your views on this. Please drop your comments, reactions, thoughts, and ideas in the comment box. Also, please be sure to watch the next video where I react to the ongoing captivity of Brittany Griner and whether and how the United States should negotiate for her release. Okay, yeah, you know you wanna watch his Brittany video and I want your comments to it. Keep watching. <laughs>